let's look at these for a second. We're discussing heterogeneous arrays, which begs the question, what does this fancy word mean? And it comes from two Latin subphrases. One is hetero and the other is genius. And hetero means different and genius means type. So that means that we have different types mixed in the same array. In comparison to this, all the arrays we've discussed up until today have been homogeneous arrays. Homo means same, genius means type, so they're all of the same type. But starting today, we're mixing and matching different types inside the same array. So that's why they're called heterogeneous arrays. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue now, and I'm going to create an entire array of animals. So I'm going to create, a, a, let's see here, let's call it a zoo. And we'll have five animals in our zoo. Right now, of course, I don't actually have animals. What do I have? Who remembers from discussing object arrays? What, do, what have I created so far, and what are their values? I've created an empty array. Yeah, what, what, do the array what does the array contain? Five what? It does not contain five animals, no. Mr. Matlou, what, is that? what do I have, sir? Do you know? There are null, five null pointers is what I've created. So if I was to print this array right now, you'd see they're all null. Let's just do that for a second. You can see I've got five null pointers. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to right here insert two birds, two cats, and a circus cat into this array. Insert two birds, two cats, and, two, and one circus cat into the array. <clears throat> I'll get you started here. If I'll go zoo sub zero, this will populate the first thing, new, and then some stuff here. And then I'll go zoo sub one equals new, and then some stuff here, like that. And I want you to do this for all five. I want two birds, two cats, and a circus cat. First one I want is a bird. And my first question is, when I hit the compile button, will this compile or not? Try to remember the, the, the Venn diagram and whether these zoo pointers can point to uh, all these different animals. What do you think here? <clears throat> will this compile? It will. Let's go to the circus cat. And let's override the speak method again for circus cat. So now the circus cat has its own speak method. The cat has its own speak method. The bird has its own speak method. And the regular animal has its own speak method. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change this to six. And I'm going to put a regular animal in here also, just to show you. And what I'm going to do now is, instead of printing the animals in my zoo, I'm going to ask each of them to speak. OK, so the first animal will be this bird. What will it say? Um, Mr. Sawyer, welcome back, sir. What will the first animal say, sir? And you can see that it matches here our predictions. Chirp, meow, growl, meow, chirp, and grunt. You can see it matches that perfectly. 